Hey, what's happening, guys? We're back again with another one of these battery power stations, you know, whatever you want to call them. This is, again, for, this is from All Powers. Now you can't see it here, but you'll be able to see it in a minute. Back in March, we did one of the R Powers R600, and it was just, just a great little uh, portable power station like this. This, this guy is the S1500. So this isn't even their top of the line. This is just like somewhere in the middle. Um, it retails for $7.99, and it has 1,092 watt hours, or 295,200 milliamp hours of capacity. It is, it's got a lot of capacity, trust me. 1,500 watt AC pure sine wave inverter with a 3,000 watt or 3 kilowatt max, which is very nice. That means it'll be able to take the startup current of some of your larger things, especially uh, anything that's inductive, you know. Um, fully charged in three hours with a 300 watt AC charger it comes with. Plus, at the same time, you can add in, um, where's the, uh, from the uh, PDW from the USB-C, which is killer. 11 outputs, 400 watt max solar MPPT input. So you could solar charge this at 400 watts i've only been able to get it up to about 100 watts of of power out of our crappy sun here in ohio but yeah let me tell you it's fantastic six ways you can recharge this thing ac USB C, ac and USB C, uh solar car solar USB C. you just all the inputs can be cha basically chained together and it's got a remote control also it is 22 pounds and man is she heavy so Let's uh, take a better look at what's going on here. So here's our front view. And you can see we have our four AC outlets up here. We have two uh, very bright LED lights here. And we have three switches. This one has no label. It just kind of has a like a Wi-Fi symbol on it. But this is actually the power switch as such. And if you press it and hold it for about three seconds or so... It is also your Bluetooth. You can kind of see the little tiny Bluetooth symbol in there, and you can see it there as well. Now, we have our DC. You can see it says USB on and DC is on. So if we can roll this very, very thick boy around here, you can take a look here, and you can see we have three USB-A uh, types, one USB-C PDW 100 watt. We have two 12 volt DC outputs there. So, I mean, you can plug in all sorts of things like that. Now, if we swing over to the other side, we have our two inputs there, and we also have your old style cigarette lighter adapter there. On the back, nothing too much to see. So, one of the cool things about this is the app. So let's take a look at that. And the app here is just called All Powers. Bluetooth is on there. Bluetooth is on on my phone. Let's find it. There it is. And now... You can see we have 99% uh, on our battery capacity, 432 hours, 21 minutes at its current, which, you know, it's not outputting anything, so it doesn't really matter. Now, you'll notice also we have controls, so we can control, turn on our uh, AC output. You heard the fan start up, you saw a little AC thing there. I can shut that off. We can also turn on and off our DC and our LED lights. And we can also, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that, change our LED lights to uh, 50 hertz if you're operating you know, outside of the US or a country that are, operates with uh, 50 or 60 hertz rather. One area that I think they kind of missed the boat on is they didn't put in any wireless charging on top. Hell, you could have put, you could have put three different coils on top of there. But I'm sure they had their reasons for not including that, and that's fine. Trust me, this thing does a lot. Now, one thing you're going to notice here 
is we have these four nice heavy looking AC, AC outlets here. But if you look, they look kind of funky. That ground plug thing don't look like it's really part of it. And if I take you inside here, you can see it is not. That is just plastic up inside there. But that's fine. Because you're not exposed to the main circuit, your, your risk of electrocution from this is quite low. Now, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that this is like the fifth or sixth one of these portable power stations that I have done a review on. And I've noticed something. So I have no proof of this, but my theory is these are all coming out of the exact same factory because their packaging is identical and they're just being rebranded, uh, re I would guess. All right, so let's give us a little AC test here, put on our AC activities. And we're going to use this Tack Knife, Tack Life heat gun because it's uh, good for about 1700 watts. So that'll, that'll put this thing through a little testy test, right? Huh? Sure. Plug that in there. Fire it up. No, oh, don't turn the AC on. There we go. Okay, it is on its low setting. And you can see we are doing 40 watts there. If I crank the temperature up here, it doesn't really do much at this setting. But we're going to take it up the high gear. So it's going to get kind of loud. I apologize. If you have headset headphones, act accordingly. All right, we're going to max this boy out. It is maxed out at uh, 1400 watts. And this thing is having no trouble at all taking care of it. It's great for small appliances, tools like this. Uh, jigsaw, circular saw, drill. But I think where this really would excel is safe using it as a, an uninterruptible power source. You know, you plug this into the wall through its power charger or whatever, and then you plug in whatever critical appliances you have at your home, for instance, a sump pump. You know, if you don't want your basement to flood and you're worried about the power going out, something like this can absolutely, yeah, be a lifesaver. And what makes it, I think, just super cool is, of course, the remote, you know, <laughs> Kids spending too much time while you're out camping, playing with some, yeah, just shut them down. Sorry, kids. No more. <laughs> anyway, I would like to thank All Powers for sending this out to us. I've been, I've had this now for about a week, and I've used it in three or four different situations. We're gonna come back after I go camping here in a week or two, and we'll see how it lasts after a full weekend. So thank you guys for watching. Thank All Powers for sending this out. And I'd like to thank all of my pa my patrons for keeping this channel going. I couldn't do it without you. And also for everybody who clicks on my link for Amazon and purchases anything, anything at all you would buy from that Amazon link, the one that's usually up here that says help me make more videos, anything you buy from there I make a few cents off of. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Also, if you haven't noticed down below here, right down below there, they now have a thanks button. If you'd like to help support the channel that way, you're certainly welcome to do so. But, you know, it ain't required. I just like hanging out with you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.